Hi guys, uh, in this video I will show you how to write mathematical expressions in LaTeX. For that I prepared a small template in Overleaf. I will be typing in the tag file and you will see what it compiles at the right. In this video I will cover five sections uh, starting from mathematical modes to operators. In LaTeX there are two ways of writing an expression. The first one is in the inline mode, which is basically writing the expression as a part of the text. To show you how we can do it, uh, let me start with a giving you an example. The general equation of a uh, straight line is. So the first way of doing it using the backslash with the parentheses. And we write the expression here, then we close the uh, parentheses. Then the second way of using it, uh, just typing the expression between dollar signs so m is the slope and lastly we can use the math environment uh, we can start the environment by using the begin command and in the curly brackets we use the environment name math and we write our expression c and we close the environment by using the command and and again uh, in the curly brackets we are writing the environment math and c is the intercept so these are the three ways of writing an inline uh, expression and the second way of writing an expression is the display mode which is basically the expression is not a part of the text so it will appear in a separate line and to show you how we can do it let me copy paste from above and the first way of doing it using the uh, backslash with the square bracket and we will just write the same expression and we will close it this is the first way of doing it and you can see how it looks like in the documents and another way of doing it using double signs for example let's say if c is equal to zero and then i will use double signs and I will say y is equal to mx and I will close the double sign. I can take this uh, to the next line and nothing will change. And you will see that uh, we can use double signs uh, to write the expression in a separate line. These two expressions are not numbered. If you want to give a number to your equation, you need to use the equation uh, environment. For that, let me give you an example. Let's say uh, if m is equal to zero, then I will use begin comment to start the environment. And I am writing my environment name equation. And I'm writing my equation in this environment. Let's say y is equal to c. And I am closing my environment by using the comment end. And you will see that uh, we have a number for this equation. Okay, let's continue with the subscripts and superscripts. And I will use uh, double dollar signs to show you uh, to write the expressions here. For example, we can write double, we can write the subscripts a1 plus a2 is equal to b1. And this is how this symbol is uh, what we use to uh, write the subscripts. As you see. And then for the superscripts, uh, we will write, for example, a square. b square is equal to c square. We are just using this uh, symbol for the superscripts. And we can use them together for example a1 square plus uh, b1 square is equal to c square plus c1 square so the order doesn't matter uh, for these subscripts and superscripts lastly i would like to show for example what would happen if we wanted to use uh, something else like not one or two more than uh, one character for example, 
a squared x plus y plus c equals to b a or let's say x plus y or as x so we need to use curly brackets uh, to combine the expressions together like here in what we wanted to put to the superscripts we put them in a curly brackets so these are the examples of how we can write subscripts and superscripts and in the next section let me show you how we can write the fractions again let's start with the double dollar signs and for that we will use the frag command and frag command takes uh, two inputs the first one is the numerator and the second one is the denominator for example it will just uh, show you one over two and you can do it uh, in in the inline mode for example then we will use a single dollar sign for each side let's say frac one two As you see, it looks smaller. And now uh, we can write the binomial coefficient. So let's start with the double dollar signs. And uh, we will use the choose comment for that. Let's say n choose k. So here and then we will say n choose k is equal to frac uh, k factorial divided by sorry n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial and let's wait for the results so uh, this is not what we expected and because you see that after choose whatever we wrote uh, just appeared here uh, at the blow so to solve this problem we will take this n choose k in a curly brackets so they will so the latex i will consider it is a, a group then uh, as you see it just fixed our problem and lastly uh, before passage showing how we can write the operations let me show uh, how we can use the brackets uh, i will show you six different ways of doing it let's start with the parentheses or round uh, brackets so we simply use the parentheses itself for example let's say a plus b and to pass to the next line i will use double backslash and now write square brackets and again i will use the square bracket itself and for the curly brackets uh, Curly brackets, using curly brackets itself is not enough because maybe you noticed that we uh, previously used them, for example, while uh, using this superscripts or while using in the binomial coefficient or even uh, while defining an equation uh, in the environment, we need to use the curly brackets. So it's kind of a reserved word, reserved character. So to be able to show the, um, for example, okay, let me, it's better if I say to you show to you so i just use the curly brackets and nothing appeared here and to show it i just need to use uh, the backslash before the brackets and let's say a plus b inside and then we can define the angle uh, 
brackets by using the uh, L angle command A plus A plus B and then right angle angle it's like uh, and then we can define we can write the pipes uh, for the for example absolute value we will just use this symbol and a plus b and for the double pipes we will use uh, this that symbol with the backslash so backslash is mostly used uh, for the comments as you see it looks like a norm uh, for example let's say that these are smaller uh, to show you how it looks bad uh, let's say in a bracket frag 102 and we close it you see that the brackets are shorter than the fraction so to fix this issue you can make it big you can use the big command and see if it's uh, enough to make it cover no it's not then you can so see a uh, big with capital B but uh, let's say the denominator also has a fraction expression so 1 plus 1 over 2 then again 2 is uh, outside of the brackets so big is not enough you can either use big with 2g or uh, a better way you can write left and right so it will automatically adjust the uh, length of the brackets for example here if i just go back and make the denominator as 2 it will automatically adjust it and you can use uh, these left and right comments with other brackets as well okay let's uh, in this video in the last section let me show you the operators uh, for example a mathematical operator is sine function uh, there is a so this is this sinusoidal function and for example sine theta theta is a uh, Greek letter and then plus cosine function for example cosine squared theta is equal to 1 we can write uh, the operators in this way like you can use lots of uh, different Greek uh, letters for example alpha beta theta gamma you can find these comments uh, on the internet you just need to google uh, Greek letters in LaTeX and another operator is limit function and it's you can use it by using lim command and for then we can specify its uh, subscripts for example n goes to uh, infinity to write to 2 goes to we just use the command 2 then for the infinity we use if ty and you will see that uh, limit while n goes to infinity let's say frac 1 over n which is equal to 0 
Okay. Uh, lastly, I will show you how you can. Uh, so these these are just examples of the operators. Uh, another example could be, for example, mean. Uh, let's say mean over x. Let's uh, take the minimum of x squared. So these are just examples and let's say that we want to find the arc max or arc min but uh, let me show you arc min or arc mass is not a defined command so probably it will give an error here as you see it says undefined control sequence because uh, there is no such a command in LaTeX uh, but the good thing is that you can declare it and for that let me go to the preamble and I will use the package uh, use package so you can uh, call the package by using the use package command and then the curly I will write the package name mc math so this is the American Mathematical Society uh, package and then uh, here you can declare a comment for example let's say tick layer math operator and let's say admin uh, okay we just lose the uh, document because it gave an error but it's fixed now let's say arc me As you see, uh, Artmin appears here. Then we can put Artmin sub x, x square, which is zero. So these are the expressions, and I try to cover uh, the simplest ones. And there are also other comments uh, you can use for the equations or for the uh, expressions. And I will try to show them in the next video. I hope that this one was helpful. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any question. See you in the next videos.